Yeah, Matt and Jamie, I talked to coaches who are literally poring over these phase two requirements and sometimes rethinking what some of these games could look like. But also some of these clubs require big crowds to show up to help for fundraising. And that means there's big questions left unanswered for tournaments on the schedule later this fall. It's going to take a while to get back into routine. 14 year old Solomon Pereira and his older brother Seth have been practicing soccer in their yard while the world has been locked down. Both are active with the Snohomish Youth Soccer Club. As a world, we're so close together. We work every day. But luckily with soccer, I mean, you use your feet most of the time, right? It's different than other sports. But Mom Shelley wonders just how safe gathering again could be. Let's just get out there and forget it and get the immunity going, right? There's that side and then there's the other side that, oh, let's just hang on a little longer and wait and see. And I'm kind of in the middle of both. <laughs> Even though we have to go through these these protocols, I, I, you know, you're dealing with children and you got to make sure that the, that the children are safe. Coach Anthony Sardin says the club has already missed some fundraisers. Now he says they're working on phase two requirements that limit players to groups of five in parts of the field and no contact practices. But future fundraising could also be up in the air as tournaments planned for later this year could bring in thousands. I think communities are better when, when kids are active and, and out and they're learning the great things that you learn from sport. Football is the one that has the biggest question mark. Phase two doesn't apply to school sports. The Washington Interscholastic oh, Activities that. Association says they too are scrambling to envision what high school sports could look like in the fall. If you're in phase four or phase two, it might look a little different. Um, what, how different? We don't know yet. The transition from middle school to high school now with the pandemic and everything else going on, it'll be much harder. And while the kids are ready to get back to normal. Oh, you made me. Solomon's mom does too, as long as her kids are safe. To not be able to play soccer for Solomon has been really hard because he lives and breathes it, sometimes sleeps with a ball, but he loves it. And so it's been hard. It's been really hard. And not to be able to play with a team because it's a team sport. If some of this sounds so if some of this sounds kind of familiar, you've heard some of it before. These requirements are going to include sanitizing, you know, workspaces and materials that these kids play with. They're also going to be required to uh, maintain hand washing and social distancing. Plus, some of these clubs will also have to require to build a return to play plan, according to these this phase two uh, movement, thanks to thanks to the governor's plan. Also, parents just as before are also going to have to be on the same plan, they have to play by all the same rules.